What's up guys? Welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel. My name is Derek. This is going to be another episode of Tech Time Thursday. Today on Tech Time Thursday we're going to talk about speaker wire. I got the amp dyno set up here. What we're going to do is I'm going to take some different size speaker wire that I got here and I'm going to hook it up to the amp dyno. We're going to amp dyno this SCV4000 see what kind of difference it makes. So normally we got some of the Stinger 8 gauge and that's what I got hooked up here now. These ones are about six foot long. So I also went and grabbed some of our Sundown audio wire. I got some of our 16 gauge and some of our 12 gauge. So we're going to do some tests with the 8 gauge, the 16 gauge, or the 12 gauge and the 16 gauge. We're going to see what kind of difference this different size speaker wire makes on the power output of this SCV4000. So uh, let's just jump right on into it. Let's see, I'll cut that light off so you can see the screen better. Everything's already set up, wired up, right here, ready to go. <clears throat> We're gonna do an uncertified run. This will be a mono run. We're gonna do it at one ohm. And play track. So looks like that's what we're going to get. Uncertified, 4,896 watts at 1 ohm, 13.2 volts. All right, so let's get our notepad here. <clears throat> and we're going to call this the uh, SCV4K wire test. So let's see, we're going to start out with the eight gauge wire and at one ohm we got forty eight ninety six at thirteen point two volts. All right. So now, let's drop it down. We're gonna do a two ohm test. And uh, let's see, reset our track here. This way we do the one ohm, the two ohm, and a four ohm test. And we can see if it makes, what kind of difference it makes at the different power output levels. So it looks like that run is done. And we got 3,066 watts at 2 ohm, 13.7 volts. So there we go. Let's write this down. 2 ohm, and it was 3,066 watts. Oh, let me put a little W there at 13. Point seven volts. <clears throat> All right, let's back this up. Four ohm test. Reset our track. Tell it to go. And here we go. I think that's it. 1747 watts, 13.8 volts. So now, four ohm, that was 1747 watts, and 13.8 volts. All right, so give me just a second, stop this camera. We're going to get the 12 gauge wire, 12 gauge sundown audio wire, I'm going to wire this up, we're going to run through these tests again. Alright guys, we are back, only thing I did was swap out the speaker wire, 
let's see, we have the Sundown Audio. Let's see if I get in here. 12 gauge speaker wire. Try to keep the runs almost identical in length as to what we had with the 8 gauge. Nothing else has changed. So uh, everything's still ready to go. We're going to do the same uncertified run, mono. Let's go straight to that 1 ohm test. All right, let's start our track. So this will be the uncertified test at 1 ohm with the 12 gauge wire. And looks like that's about it. So we got 4,881 watts at 13.6 volts. So let's see, let's write this in 12 gauge, and that was 4881 watts, 13.6 volts. Alright, let's so go back. 2 ohm test. Let's start our track. And looks like it. So this time we got 2,980 watts at 2 ohms, 13.7. So let's write this down. 2980 watts, 13.7 volts. Let's back up, go to our 4 ohm test. <clears throat> and here we go. Try and zoom in here good for y'all. No one can complain. They can't see the screen. You used to get those complaints a lot. All right, looks like it's done. We have 1,727 watts, uncertified 13.9 volts. <coughs> so this time it's going to be. 1727 watts at 13.9 so there you go you can already see the differences between the 8 gauge and the 12 gauge so uh, yeah give me a second gonna turn this camera off we're gonna bring in the teeny tiny little 16 gauge wire We'll see if we get any kind of difference in that. Remember, we're about six foot in length total here. Think we should go ahead and test some longer runs? I don't know, maybe later. Let's do the 16 gauge right now. Be right back. All right, guys, I got the wire swapped out again. We've changed this out to the tiny, tiny little 16 gauge Sundown Audio wire. Again, about the same exact length roughly six foot in length. Got it hooked up to the amp dyno. But, uh, first, let's go ahead and notice if you can see the results. Very, very little difference here from the eight gauge to the 12 gauge. Now, um, there is a consistent drop. We got about 18 watts less here. Uh, let's see, about 86 watts less here, which could just be a slight anomaly. Uh, that 86 watts is actually only about a 2% difference. And um, little 20, 20 watt drop here. So it is consistently just barely, barely lower on the 12 gauge side. And uh, I'd say I'm really not surprised. 12 gauge, 12 gauge is a healthy wire. It is not tiny. This is the Sundown Audio wire. It's all oversized. So it, it's a good size, healthy wire. Um, and at this, at this kind of power level, at roughly 4,900 watts, you're talking about 70 volts, 70 amps of current. So uh, a good quality 12 gauge wire holding 70 amps. I'm not surprised that it did that well. But uh, right now, we're going down to this little stuff, little 16-gauge wire. So go ahead, put in the comments, how well do y'all think the 16-gauge is going to hold up? Do you think it's going to compare to these numbers? Do you think it's going to 
just drop. We're gonna we're gonna see a huge power loss here. Let's go ahead and say something in the comments before I run this amp dyno. It's all set up and ready to go. So let's get this thing back ready. Back on uncertified. Mono. Here we go, straight to that one ohm load. All right, and start our track. Here we go. Oh. I believe that's where it's going to settle at. So there we go. 4,795 watts at 1 ohm, 13.7 volts. So let's get those results wrote down here. 16 gauge, 4,795 watts. And. That was 13.7 volts. So did you predict that? Say so not a crazy drop. Um, about was that 80, 86 watts? About the same difference we see here. So uh, let's get our track reset. Get our dyno reset. Go to the two ohm run. Start dyno. I think that's going to be it for this one. This is the 16 gauge wire, uncertified run, 2,970 watts. <clears throat> so let's get that wrote down. 2,970. <clears throat> and that was 13.9 volts. All right, get everything reset again. 4 ohm test. Start dyno. We're running. I believe that's where it's going to settle to. 1,716 watts. 4 ohm, 13.9 volts, uncertified run with the 16 gauge wire. So, this time, 17, 16, and that was still 13.9 on the voltage. <clears throat> so let me know in the comments, what do y'all think about that? 8 gauge, 12 gauge, 16 gauge? Again, we, we consistently saw a drop across the board. Do you think that extra wattage you're getting here is worth it? What do you think I did wrong about the test? Every test I do, somebody thinks I did something wrong. What should I do different? Let me know in the comments. But um, you know what? I don't think we're done with this test. I think we need to step it up even further with some different wire. Let's see. Be right back. Alright guys, we're back. So as you can already see, I've disconnected one of those runs of 16 gauge wire. So we are, have just one run of that little itty bitty 16 gauge wire. I've got the jumpers hooked up here on the dyno. Go and see if I can hold these and uh, give you a little comparison. If you can see that size difference there. I don't know if it's going to focus. So uh, let's get this set up. We're going to do a certified run, mono, and yep, we're going to do it at 1 ohm off a single run of 16 gauge wire. It's about 6 foot long. Here we go. What do you think? Is it going to drop? It's running. Oh. Yep, that looks like it. 4,577 watts. So let's go ahead and write that down. 
make a little note over here on the side. Forty-five, seventy-seven, and uh, let's say one run sixteen gauge. Reset that. Get my head unit reset. Two ohm run. Pretty good drop on that last one. Let's see what it does at two ohm. There we go. That's the end of that run. 2,885 watts. This is the single run of 16 gauge wire. So this time it is 2885. Okay, let's do it again. Four ohm, start dyno, reset my head unit, and it's running. Oh, still climbing little by little. That's it. 1,680 watts. Alright. Well, I think that was a pretty torture test of doing a single run of 16 gauge wire. I think without a doubt it showed here. We saw the power drop off pretty good in that 1 ohm test. Just kind of let you know, make sure and use the right gauge wire for your install. Alright guys, that concludes our test. Let me know what you think. What size wire would you run, judging by that test? My opinion, go with the 8 gauge wire. It's really not that much more expensive. Spend that little bit of extra money, get the bigger wire. Run 8 gauge speaker wire only time I might not run it the 8 gauge well definitely if I had an amp this size I'm running 8 gauge if I'm only running 1500 watts or so I'll run the 12 gauge wire some of our subs like our smaller SA12s you don't need to shove 4000 watts in them things those subs are fine with the 12 gauge wire you're running some of our big subs the X's the ZB5's the nightshades spend the money run the 8 gauge wire it's literally gonna cost you just a few dollars more it's not like it's a crazy extra price tag. But um, make sure to let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. Remember, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, click that thumbs up button. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know. Do you like these tech time videos I'm doing? Got any ideas for more? Tell me in the comments. Until next time, guys. See y'all then.